Hi and welcome students. Today's lesson is going to cover Word 2016, specifically how to edit and format paragraphs. Let's go ahead and get started. So what you see here is a, a data file. What's on it really isn't very important, but what I'm going to show you is how to really edit your paragraphs within Word 2016. So the paragraph that I'm going to show you how to edit right now is this one right here. It says auditions. Okay, so one thing that you have to know about paragraphs and a great shortcut that you can use throughout Microsoft Word is the difference between single click, double click, and triple click. You can see as I look through my paragraphs here, let's go down here and look at this paragraph where it says adult dancers right right here I can uh, click and drag to select the whole paragraph but you notice it's a little bit more inaccurate you see I left out the period at the end so one way to select an entire paragraph is by triple clicking on the paragraph one two three and you see it selects the whole paragraph that's what triple clicking will do now double clicking will actually select the word that you're on so let's say right here this word maximum if I double click on the word maximum it'll select that entire word and then single clicking will select within the word so now that we know that let's triple click on the word auditions to select that entire paragraph now that this paragraph is selected we realize this is our title so we want to make sure that we change this title so that it looks a little bit more appealing right it needs to be eye-catching and draw attention to this flyer right here so what I'm going to do first is uh, change the paragraph settings so in the home tab the paragraph group this is where you're going to see your list of paragraph options okay now what a lot of people don't know is that to the right of the word paragraph there's this little icon right here this is called your paragraph settings dialog box launcher if you click on this part right here it'll actually launch your entire dialog box and give you many more settings so let's go ahead and do that I click on paragraph settings here and it opens up my paragraph dialog box launcher so right here we have this uh, this open and we can see that we could change in indents and spacing as well as line and page breaks in here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this section right down here which deals with spacing spacing before and spacing after what this means is the amount of space before the paragraph begins and the amount of space after the paragraph ends so let's say I want to change these so before I will change this to 12 point by clicking up twice or by typing in 12 and then this one I will change to 18 point by clicking up three times or by highlighting and typing in 18 and then pressing tab to move on to the line spacing area so uh, you can see that says 18 now and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a bit more options that you could actually find uh, within this paragraph dialog box launcher so we we went here we did that and we changed the spacing right there inside this paragraph dialog box launcher you could change your indentation to be uh, indented or you could change the area in which the text is aligned so I could align center right or justified in here so those are our different options within this paragraph dialog box but for right now I'm gonna click OK and we see right there the spacing was adjusted after those changes that I made now let's say I want to bring more attention to the word auditions well one of the things that I want to do is I want to make sure that it is in all capital letters right so if it's in all caps that'll actually help um, you know bring attention to it so that's actually in our home tab font group and if you go right over here we see this one right here it says change case if I click right there I could make all of those uh, whatever I have highlighted uppercase so I click right there and now it's uppercase that's looking good now I'm going to show you how to change the uh, font size and that's right here it's currently at 28 I could change that up to 36 right there and then finally a paragraph setting of centering it will look better on this flyer so I'm going to go to the home tab paragraph group and center that and so just with those couple changes of changing the spacing changing the case the font size and the alignment on the page we actually see that that looks a lot better and the word auditions now uh, is more eye-opening eye and you can see it a lot easier so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, remember I have an entire playlist on Word Excel access and PowerPoint so uh, go ahead and make sure you check those out if you have a comment or a video request please put it in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching